We were still talking before you came on about honey trapping. Did you hear we got into quite a heated discussion? Yes, I did hear it, yeah. What did you think when you were backstage listening to that about women honey trapping their partners? Or the other way around, it's not always women. Mm. Um, I mean, I think... I don't like the idea at all. No. I think if you have to do that to your partner, then, you know, there's serious questions that need to be asked. And if, if your partner ends up giving you the, you know, the answer that you want, yeah. i.e. He, he, he doesn't reply in a way you're expecting like he's a cheat or whatever, then I think he's never going to respect you again for not trust... Going to them lengths to not trust it's them, It's a know? trust thing, Sue Syria. That's what but we Mark, said But, Mark, I'm just, I'm, just, I'm just in it as a joke for, right. you know, just because I'm just like, the boys are on holiday, <laughs> send a little woman... You know, not a little woman in, but, you know, like, <laughs> you know <laughs> sexy, a sexy cleaner. I'd just like to see their reaction. But my theory is this, and perhaps, do you, correct me if I'm wrong, I think if there's a load of blokes and a sexy girl go in, they'd probably have a little bit of banter, but I don't think most men would go further than that. So my point, it's not the honey trap, then, is it? It's, it's just like, it's just. Well, why would you do it then? No, well, why would you do it? Then? Why would you even kind of? Well, yeah. Thanks, Mark. I, I yeah. tell you why I, I, tell, I, I, tell, I, tell, I didn't I, see who was on what side. I just <laughs> the no, but, but do you, but, but well, do you agree that so, as soon as you mention the word honey trap, everybody thinks that blokes are just going to go for it, but they're not, are they? You no, wouldn't. they shouldn't, should they? Yeah, no, but, exactly. Yeah. I mean, I just think that if you do it, I mean, I, I can imagine there's people that do it properly and really mm. kind of catfish yeah. their partner yeah. to really find out. But they must have real yeah. doubts yeah. in their heads. Got it. To go yeah. to, that's what I was saying this yeah. morning, I couldn't be bothered. I mean, yeah. there's so much behind that. You must have to have serious suspicions. Mm. I'd never respect, you know, I don't think people, I don't think you should respect your partner again if they do that to you properly. Yeah. I mean, yours is a joke, Mine so it's different. Joke, yeah. um, and it's quite funny, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I just... You warned. Uh, yeah, exactly, yeah. Because trust don't is do a it big, to me. Trust don't is a big it. thing in a relationship, isn't it? It's a big thing. Oh, it's everything, yeah. right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. Anyway, let's get back to why you were here. Yeah. Soccer Aid this Sunday on... On ITV. This is your third yes, year. Yes, third year. Part. Yeah. So hasn't nothing's put you off. Still back for Definitely more. Definitely not. It's unbelievable. It's uh, the best thing ever. So you're playing for the England team. Yes. Sam Allardyce, big Sam, yeah. um, and with Susanna Reid this yes. time. Yes. So what she's role is Susanna manager. taking? She's the assistant manager. Okay. So she's going to uh, help Big Sam pick the team, give team talks. Yeah. Yeah. She's she's quite feisty, Susanna. Yeah. So. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. She's not going to take no... Um, also feisty rubbish. is Piers Morgan, of course. Yeah. <laughs> we, don't, we, don't, we don't worry about he's that. He's on the other side for the world team. Harry Redknapp's their manager, um, and he's the... What do you call him? The assistant? The assistant. The assistant. What are your chances against the world team? Well, we've won the last three, I think, yeah. at least. They've not got much time. I am so competitive, yeah. Where's that come from? I really realised it the other day, actually. I appeared on a... Uh, a celebrity version of Catchphrase, mm. Stephen Mulhern. Oh, I love Catchphrase. I don't know how much I'm allowed to say here. Yeah. But I was like, I caught myself at one point, you know when you're standing with a buzzer? <laughs> no, I was bent over. <laughs> Do you know what's happening? The girl next to me from Corrie, lovely girl, she went, Mark, stand up. I was like, so I'm just ready to press the buzzer. She's right there. Just, you don't have to take it so seriously. And I did not want to lose. And it's like and, um, childhood. You know, yeah, I think like it's that. in... I just did a show, actually, called Who Do You Think You Are? Mm. And they went back to my, uh, you know, ancestry, and it, it was all about family members that, you know, from, from hundreds of years ago that all had... I can't say too much, but that all lived by that kind of... Drive. Drive. And mm. sometimes my drive is too much and I think that I would like it to chill out a bit because mm. I get one job and I'm like, right, what's the next thing? And Do you feel always... you miss out sometimes then if you don't, uh, you don't take in the moment or the joy of that job because yeah. you're thinking of the next, the next one? Yeah. And the my American time. boss said to me, I went in after about two months and I, it was this dream job and I was so lucky to get it. And I was like, right, how do I uh, become the main host? And she was like, what? She was like, why are you always in a rush? She said, when you have children, they're going to get to 18 and you're going to look back and say, I missed, I missed it all. Because mm -hmm. you're yeah. always in a rush. It's and true. it really stuck with me. Mm. Uh, but when so I if, if you do have children, is that something you will remember yeah. to pass on? Because we all talk about this yeah. on the show, things we've learned, you know, things we did in our own childhoods, yeah. or things we were told that you go, I'm never going to do that, or yeah. I will always do that with my yeah. children. Is that something you now... It's in Definitely. Your mind? And if they've got my personality traits, which is, like, seriously competitive, always wanting something, you know, else, yeah. and when it comes to work, and always wanting to win too much rather than just living in the moment, and I need to... Because that's one thing that annoys and me. And what about really Michelle? Yet. Because often it's the, you know, both parents, so you're saying, you know, I'm the competitive one, I've got drive. She's obviously a very ambitious and, you know, hard-working, full-time... So Michelle's... Actress. She's she's very hard-working. She's away again now, and she works so hard, but she's a little bit mentally less chilled than I am when it comes to that stuff. She, And, you know, she's so talented and work comes to her at the moment. She's so fortunate that that's happening. But I'm just 
always chasing that next yeah. thing. You've kind she's of always got that telling me sports mentality. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that you want yeah. to win. It's not all good enough. All my family to... was sports. All yeah. my dad and his three brothers were sports. I think having a sports, sports yeah. mentality, yeah. like sports, on Sunday, yeah. you want to go out and win. It's not the 100%. case of just being yeah. there and enjoying the moment. Yeah. You want to win, As and well, you'll probably yeah. be disappointed if you don't. Yeah.